Caroline Faraday is live at a camera van in Maidstone Forest now. And Caroline, how exactly does it work? Well, you'll recognise these camera vans. They're the ones that when you come round a corner, you groan out loud at the sight of seeing it. Let me just take you in, inside the camera van and show you how it all works. There's an operation here. What I didn't realise is that everything that goes on is on camera, but it's all recorded onto DVD. So if an offence is recorded, a speeding offence, it's recorded onto a DVD, and then you get a ticket in the post. Now, from the 5th of October, that's going to change, that if the operator, which is Ken here, also spots somebody not wearing their seatbelt or talking on their mobile phone, he'll record that onto the DVD, view it, and then you could be getting a fine in the post. Well, here to tell me more about why they're doing this is Catherine Barrett. Hello, Catherine. Hi. Why are you doing this, then? We basically, we have um, safety camera sites only at places where people have been killed or seriously injured. Um, previously, we've only been able to enforce speed, but while the camera operators have been recording the road scene, they've also seen other offences being committed. Um, our main aim is to reduce the number of casualties at camera sites, so by raising awareness of the fact that we're also enforcing those offences, we're hoping to reduce the casualty rate even further. Uh, people don't like these, do they? They'll say it's just another opportunity for you to revenue raise and catch motorists out. Uh, I'd disagree with that. It's basically we don't get any funds at all. It goes straight back to central government. And to us, the most successful safety camera is one that doesn't issue any fines because it means no one's breaking the law. OK, thank you very much, Catherine. Uh, we did ask the AA what they thought about this, and they told us there's public support for the enforcement of the law on both seatbelts and mobile phones, as they are safety hazards, but it's a concern that people could be charged unfairly if they merely appeared from a distance to be breaking the law. OK, Caroline, thanks very much.